Good morning and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We pray that you are in good health. We ask all present to please respect the instructions given by our parish ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers as requested, maintaining a social distance of two meters and wearing face masks when entering, leaving, or moving from one place to another within the church. At the time of Holy Communion, further instructions will be given. And at the end of Mass, we ask that you please follow the usher's instructions for exiting from the church. Our presider today is Father Cecil Critch, and our opening hymn is number 437, Crown Him with Many Crowns. Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate in our church the feast of the archangels Michael and Gabriel and Raphael. We ask their intercession today to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today. We ask the Lord to come into our hearts, the Lord who sees our heart, who doesn't judge us but sees our heart, gives us eternal mercy and compassion. We ask the Lord's forgiveness for all of our sins.
Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. in marvelous order of ministries, both angelic and human. Graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. In my vision, war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated. And there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down. That ancient serpent who was called the devil and Satan. The deceiver of the whole world. He was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I, John, heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is number 126. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In 
Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? And Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. And Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. And Jesus said to Nathanael, Very truly I tell you, you will see the heavens opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. There are many stories of angels in the Bible, but in three of them, archangels are named. The angels were seen as a link, connection between heaven and earth, as one of the ways God communicated with his people, with humanity. Michael means who is like God. Gabriel means the strength of God. And Raphael means God's healing, God's remedy. 
Whenever some act of wondrous power must be performed, Michael is sent so that his action and his name may make it clear that no one can do what God does by his superior power. Michael is portrayed as the defender and protector from evil, from Satan, of believers. So too Gabriel, who is God, called God's strength, that's the meaning of the word Gabriel. He brought the good news of the forthcoming birth of John the Baptist to Zechariah and was also sent to Mary to announce the coming birth of the Savior of the world. Raphael, as I said, meant God's healing, God's remedy. He touched Tobit's Tobit's eyes in the Old Testament. Do you remember that story? He touched Tobit's eyes in order to cure him. He banished the darkness of his blindness. So the archangels were God's messengers, revealing God's presence to us in different ways. They point ahead to God's greatest messenger, who is Jesus. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus speaks of himself to Nathanael, as we know as Bartholomew, as the one on whom the angels of God are ascending and descending. And of course, the background to that image, if you remember from the Jewish scriptures of the Old Testament, that's the dream that Jacob had in the book of Genesis. In his dream, he saw a ladder connecting heaven and earth with angels ascending and descending on it. And when, when he woke up, he concluded this place where he was sleeping must be the gate of heaven. So he proceeded to build an altar there. He called the place Bethel, which means in Hebrew, means the house of God. So a temple was built there. And speaking the way he does, Jesus claims to be that gate of heaven, that house of God. He is the house of God now. He is the supreme connection between heaven and earth. In Jesus, heaven comes to earth in a way that is not true of any angel. Jesus reveals God's presence to us as fully as any messenger from God could. When we look upon Jesus, we are looking upon the face of God. As Jesus says to Nathaniel, you will see greater things. In our relationship with Jesus, there is always great there is always greater thing to see, things to see. Our relationship with the Lord is always an adventure that continues to open up new horizons as we develop our relationship with God. The angels point us in the direction of Jesus, who according to the letter of the Hebrews is as much superior to the angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. In thanking God for the angels today, we thank him even more for the one towards whom they point, God's Son, Jesus, who has brought God to us in a way that no angel ever has done or could do. We offer our prayers of intercession today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Peter, and all those who lead and guide our church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We pray for peace in our world, for peace in the troubled areas of, the, of our world. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of our, those who are sick, those in hospital. Remember Jim Foley. Remember Kevin Dormady. Remember all those close to us, all those who have been asked us to pray for them, who are sick, especially those also who heal them, who work with them, and especially in hospitals, doctors and nurses, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, we pray especially today for Madeline Ganey, who is the aunt of Father Costello, for Leo Dormady and Margaret Walsh, and for all of our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for your own intention today, in the quiet of our hearts, we pray. We pray to the Lord. And God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to answer our prayers in your own time, in your own way. We always make them in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
God of all creation, that through your goodness you'll receive the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. water and wine when we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity, O Lord, cleanse us of our sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and, all, and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our glory and the Let us pray. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exaltation, exultant adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And 
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy, and your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we share the peace of Christ now with one another. God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. A prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and prudent and respectful manner, we ask that you please respect and adhere to the following instructions. 
instead of the individual attestation, Amen, by, commu by communicants at the time of receiving Holy Communion, there will be one general attestation for everyone before the distribution begins. Those wishing to receive communion are asked to ensure that their face mask is properly in place before coming forward, remain in their pew until invited forward by the ushers, maintain social distancing of two meters in the communion line, sanitize their hands before receiving communion. As communicants approach the front of the communion line, we ask that you sanitize your hands, bow toward the host, in silence receive the host in your hands, move to the side to consume the host, return to your pew as directed by the ushers. Any person who cannot receive Holy Communion in the hand is welcome to come forward for a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 6.6, .6, One Love Released. Let us pray. 
Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Prayer for Francis to Mary for help and protection during the pandemic. O Mary, you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide to that as in Cain of Galilee. We may return to joy and to feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial. Deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And now that God bless all of us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Our mission in hymn is number 555, Holy God, we praise your name. <laughs>